Welcome back to another episode of RJC Outdoors. We just made it out onto the lake we're, we're fishing. Uh, we got 18 inches of ice, so decided to drive out here. There's some holes. There's some holes over here. Looks like it could be a good fishing spot. There's plenty of people behind me, but we're gonna stay away from the crowd uh, and just kind of fish this shoreline over to my left here. I've heard there is some jumbos. I might be able to get a wall hanger here. So a few walleye as well. So we'll see what we get into. Stay tuned. You won't want to miss it. So I decided to pop a bunch of holes do some hole hopping for a little bit, find where some of the fish are and see what they're eating on first before I set up the shack. And then it looks like the water clarity is uh, pretty decent, so I might be able to put the underwater camera down, see how they're biting the hook and stuff like that. It's so cool to, to watch them feed. But yeah, we're gonna find where the fish are at first, pop up the hub shack, get cozied in. I haven't decided yet, but I might stay the night, do an overnight. Oh! There we go. Just the smallest little perch ever. Little beat up dorsal fin there. Just caught on a gold tungsten. So far, out of the three of us in this group, I've only caught one little dinky perch. Uh, we've been here for about almost two hours now just marking a bunch they're just not wanting to commit and they're little marks at that so we're gonna pack up here and we're gonna move to a different spot on this lake Probably the smallest perch I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. Holy smokes. A little fogged up on the lens there. Just got the house set up for the night. I will be staying the night. And I guess we'll be doing a 24 hour challenge starting from 11 a.m. So I'll be leaving the lake tomorrow at uh, 11 a.m. But hopefully they get a little bigger than this guy here. So we're pretty much all set up. I just want to put the underwater camera down yet, but thought I'd show you what I'm using for bait. I got the hammered gold tungsten with a squiggly back minnow. And uh, yeah, just got that dead sticked on a bobber, slip bobber. Not that big, but a little bit bigger and we'll be keeping them to eat. That one's probably about an eight, in yeah, eight incher. Got the camera down and there's just so much action down there. It's, it's not even funny. 
see you, bud. Oh, jeez. I thought it was way bigger than that. They should be getting bigger pretty soon here. Stole my minner. Well, it's been slow for a little bit, so I'm gonna get bed ready. And um, I just brought the iFish Pros in here just to have them as like a wake up alarm. I'm gonna put bells on both of the flags so as soon as one or if if one gets triggered I'll hear the bells go so hopefully it'll wake me up and I'll wake up to a fish that's all the bigger I'm catching and it's already uh, I think it's 11 o'clock actually but still haven't made the bed procrastinating a little bit just been jigging the everything giving them fluffs here and there making sure uh, the bait's still moving around still lively I am all set up for bed I think I'm gonna give it like probably another half hour and then crash out. Get up early and do some morning fishing. We will see you in the morning. There we go. Oh. Ooh. Just getting ready to pass out and I look over at my rod and it's just folded over. Not even paying attention. Catching some nice ones while laying in bed here. Um, if it was during the day, I'd probably keep this one, but since I'm just going to pass out here, I'm just going to let him go here. Later, bud. <laughs> it's only like five feet deep here. <laughs> I actually just got woke up by a tip up and then noticed my bobber was down little perch it is a little after 6 a.m. I'm gonna run out to the run out to my truck and grab a propane cylinder because this one's just about to go out so that iFish Pro woke me up just in time, so I wasn't going to get super cold, get woke up by the cold. I guess the morning bite's starting up. Go down the hole. That a good boy. I just set this eye fish pro up with a minnow on it. I took the live bluegill off and instantly it got triggered. We're on a morning bite. We are on a morning bite. Just getting packed up here. My cousin's on his way out and we're gonna we're gonna set up on a different spot on this lake and he's bringing me breakfast so I'm gonna go meet up with him wherever he decides to uh, post up we're gonna do some fishing over there 
try to get a little deeper water but I guess we'll we'll find out I won't show you guys the whole pack up process that's boring we'll see you guys at the next spot oh that one would probably eat but I'm not gonna be keeping any today Got it on that gold hammered tungsten. A couple wax worms. Yeah, it's a little too small to eat anyhow. Cody and Brady made it out. <laughs> We just moved spots. Getting some action. <laughs> the smallest of smalls. even had him hooked. Another seven incher. Oh, there we go, Bray. That's a nice one. There goes your eye fish pro. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what we're here for. That is what I came for right there. Whoo! Some lips on it. That's a true jumbo right there. That's probably 13. <coughs> I'll take this one home to eat. Let's go get a measurement on it here quick. See what we got here. Ooh, 12. 12 right on the money. Still undecided if I want to let it go. Yeah, I think uh, I think we're gonna keep it. Nice 12 incher. Last night's was probably uh an 11 but it's nice to see an actual jumbo <laughs> way off Oh! <laughs> We're like, what if, once he starts coming back, let's bomb him. Wait, wait. You're a little closer. Jeez. Those are all spot on. I couldn't throw into the wind. Oh, nice. That's game. Oh, flags up. Current time check is uh, 10.50. So I'm 10 minutes away from being 24 hours on the ice. For it being uh, my first time sleeping on the ice, it was not bad. It was actually rather enjoyable. Uh, but I wanted to thank you guys for joining me on this journey. Not a whole lot of fish were brought topside and uh, not a whole lot of big ones, but 
had some fun and that's all that matters right but i want to thank you guys for tuning into this episode of rjc outdoors we'll see you guys on the next one